just get through one day without the media proving they're about as trustworthy as the Iraqi information minister? Do they think everyone just forgot about their treatment of Brett Kavanaugh? Attempted rape or sexual There's no assault. evidence besides one so you're story. Saying, are we back to you saying you don't necessarily believe Dr. Ford? I think rape culture is so pervasive that it's possible that he's not lying and still did it. The woman who says Kavanaugh tried to rape her, the woman who says Kavanaugh exposed himself to her. She said that she remembered that Brett Kavanaugh tried to rape her and put his hand over her mouth so she couldn't scream. Kavanaugh held her down and she thought he was going to rape her. I believe he was going to rape me. I believed he was going to rape me. I believed he was going to rape me. The most serious uh, allegation that Kavanaugh aided and abetted in the commission of a gang rape. Gang rapes and excessive drinking and aggressive behavior from Brett Kavanaugh. And a participant in a gang rape. Gang rape. A gang rape. Gang rape. Presumption of innocence? To hell with that! Well, up until it's a Democrat being accused. As tired as I am of talking about this subject, at least it's not COVID-19. COVID-19! What the hell was that? COVID-19? COVID-19! Okay, maybe I am really starting to lose it. And this week we've seen uh, him really be challenged for the first time in five weeks on allegations that uh, many in the media have ignored and finally those are coming to light. Well, I, I, I know uh, we here at ABC have not ignored and, and many in the media have not ignored it. Liar! <laughs> oh, are you a bad liar? She can't even look at the camera, she's so ashamed. She really should have lost her job after she cried on the air because they lost the election. What an unprofessional hack. What is it with her anyway? She always looks like she's on the verge of an emotional breakdown. It still blows my mind when these supposed professionals lie so brazenly when there's easily found data that refutes her claim. Sorry for the interruption and we'll get right back into this episode, but first give me 30 seconds to tell you about this free offer for my subscribers. It's tough right now to get your hands on gold. Dealers just can't get enough, but we know it's time to protect your wealth time to protect your family. Did you know that you can buy, sell, and spend physical gold with Swipe with Gold? It's super easy with our mobile app to buy real gold for better financial security. Just visit www.swipewithgold.com and download the app. Register and your prepaid debit MasterCard will be delivered by mail in just a few days for free. When you get your card, you just load on your cash. Then you're ready to buy, sell, and spend in real gold. It's that simple. You can withdraw your money anytime at any ATM that accepts MasterCard. So visit www.swipewithgold.com. That's www.swipewithgold.com and download the app right now to get your free card and start using real gold as money. Not only did ABC News not cover this story going back to March 25th when the allegations first came to light, but they literally spent zero minutes on it up until April 30th. Her claim is that the other media outlets have also not ignored the story, but as you can see, they actually spent more time on Pence not wearing his mask in one day than they covered the Biden allegations in a month. According to RealClearPolitics.com, MSNBC mentioned Biden's accuser one time in a month, while CNN mentioned her nine times. By contrast, CNN mentioned Kavanaugh's accuser 1,898 times, and MSNBC mentioned her 1,878 times. And it's not just TV media. Check out Wikipedia, where the Kavanaugh allegations are front and center on his page, while Biden is only mentioned one time, and it's at the bottom of his page. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Turn off your TV and don't trust the media. And how well, far will you go issue. with these attacks? I'm going to take issue with the media ignoring this. It has been appalling the hypocrisy as to how Brett Kavanaugh was treated versus Joe Biden. Brett Kavanaugh, every accuser was put on TV. It was wall-to-wall -wall coverage. They went into his high school yearbook. They said he needed an FBI investigation. Michael Avenatti was on TV accusing him of gang rape from an accuser who'd never even met Brett Kavanaugh. And then you go to Joe Biden. Five weeks of silence. 19 interviews without a single question. He won't let people go into his records in the University of Delaware. They're calling on the DNC to do the investigation. It went from me to me to me to to move on, move on, move on in a nanosecond because he's a Democrat and the hypocrisy is appalling and it's not just from the Democrats it's from the media and I'll tell you I think any outlet 
that conducted those 19 interviews and didn't ask a single question should be disqualified from conducting any part of a presidential debate. I'll be honest, I've never heard of this woman before, but she needs to get out into the media more often. You won't find many Republicans who actually stand up for themselves in the media like this, much less call them out to their faces and then come back at them when they deny it. Raddus is attempting to rewrite history here and most other Republicans would have just let her get away with it. Her point about these media outlets not being allowed to moderate the debates should be non-negotiable. I've never understood why the Republicans let these Democrat shills moderate their debates. You just can't trust them and there's almost no real journalist in the profession anymore. It'll be interesting to see where this goes but the GOP better not budge. I'm tired of seeing our debates moderated by Democrat party operatives. Afterwards she interviewed the DNC chair Tom Perez and it was the predictable softball game you would expect. Joe Biden has been very clear Martha that this did not happen. He was forceful in that. And he's been equally clear that when women come forward with complaints of this nature, they should be taken seriously. Their complaints should be investigated. They should be treated with dignity. And he's done exactly that. You know what else Joe Biden said? He said, believe all women. That's something the media and the Democrats are desperately trying to cover up and rewrite now. Suddenly due process matters again when a Democrat's being accused. Well, listen, there's been so many investigations of this, of the vice president. The most, the most um, comprehensive investigation of the vice president was when he was vetted by Barack Obama in 2008. They look at everything about you. They looked at the entire history of Joe Biden. Barack Obama trusted Joe Biden. I trust Joe Biden. And those investigations have been done. Literally everything he just said could have been said about Brad Kavanaugh. But they all just brushed aside those defenses and declared him guilty. Kavanaugh had undergone six previous FBI investigations to check his background and they found nothing. But none of that mattered for Brett, did it? It's just more of what I'm constantly talking about. The enforcement of double standards by the Democrats and their media. Perez knows that the media has his back and he can be as hypocritical as he wants and receive no pushback. No doubt Raditz is rationalizing and telling herself that she's throwing out any shred of credibility for a good reason. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.